you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today is vlogmas day 21 i think is it the 21st yes i'm just getting ready for the day um i'm basically just working and running errands today but i'm just putting on a little makeup to you know make myself feel good i have to go to sephora to get a couple things i have to go pick up a prescription I have to bring some packages to UPS today. I need to do some laundry. And then I just have to edit stuff for work. So that is the day today. Not doing anything super, super exciting. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for makeup today. And then some of the Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask. I wear this all throughout the day, not just when I, not just when I go to bed. I'm gonna quickly blow dry my hair just because I don't want to freeze when I go outside. Dry enough. I just didn't want to walk outside and have it freeze, so it's mostly dry. It's a little bit uh, damp still, but that's fine. I also made this smoothie this morning. This is my favorite combo lately. It's banana raspberries, chia seeds, orgain vanilla protein powder, a scoop of peanut butter, did I say that? And almond milk. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I'm also drinking this lemon ginger cayenne juice. And I just was having some water. I feel like I have a million beverages every morning. Okay, let's get on with the day. I just got a tiny bit of work done, just following up on some emails and editing a little bit of a draft. And now I'm gonna run some errands. I feel like I look like a literal grandma today. Like a little old lady. <laughs> I think it's the sweater. I think this sweater is so cute, but I think the sweater in combination with these like knit pants, I feel like a hundred years old. Here is the fit for running errands. This little sweater, it's a tank top with a matching cardigan. It's from Bohm. Puffers from Revolve. These brown knit pants are Princess Polly. And then my white Converse. And that's what I'm wearing. And this camera is already dying. It's at like 50% battery. And I've only filmed for about five minutes today. So I don't think I'm loving it, you guys. I don't think I'm loving it. I've really missed my regular camera. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my vlog from yesterday i'll link it below um but my regular vlog camera is being repaired because it just stopped working yesterday and i bought this one so i had one in the meantime and i really don't think i like it i don't know Ugh, i don't know i need a mini face wash of the one I already use, but I don't see it because I'm going on a ski trip soon and I need like mini versions of things, but I'm not seeing it. Hello you guys, I just got back home. Uh, I went on a little walk with one of my friends. We went to Sephora, I'll show you what I got there. And then I had to pick up a prescription at CVS. And then we also stopped at this little um, market to get some snacks. Um, I got some travel sized stuff from Sephora because I have some ski trips coming up and I just hate lugging around full sized things. So I got some travel sized um, shampoos and conditioners. This is from Briogeo. There's a shampoo, conditioner, blow dry, and heat protecting cream, and then leave in conditioning spray. I got a little uh, mini version of my face wash, the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. The one I have, the bottle is just like huge. I like hate bringing it places. So got a mini one and then I got my sunscreen because I ran out of it and I wear it every single day all year round. <laughs> so I got a new one. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is the best sunscreen. I literally recommend this to everyone. It is on the pricier side, um, 
but it's totally clear. It doesn't leave a white cast on your face and it has the texture of like um, a primer. It's really silky and it just like immediately dries on your skin. I love this. And it's so important to wear sunscreen. Okay, I think that's everything from Sephora. Oh, she also gave me some samples of things. These are both from Laneige. I've been loving that brand lately. This is the Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer and this is the Radiant C Cream Moisturizer. <laughs> and then at the market, I got uh, dark chocolate covered hazelnuts. I have to try one of these right now. Hazelnut and chocolate is my fave combination. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like noon now. So good. And then I got a poke bowl. I'm literally addicted to these. I get them all the time, way too often. I feel like they're just like a quick, easy, relatively healthy thing to go grab and pick up. So I got one of those. I'm gonna get back to work right now while I eat that. I'm gonna edit the vlog from yesterday and then catch up on emails and I need to follow up on a campaign that I think is supposed to go live today, but I have not gotten approval on it yet. So I'm gonna go work that out and get some work done for the next few hours and then I will see you guys after. I just went downstairs and had a couple packages. So we're gonna open them, of course. Does my hair look like kind of red in this lighting? Does it? They really make it so hard to open packages, don't they? This first one is vitamins. Ritual sent me three bottles of them. I've mentioned Ritual on here so many times. I first tried these maybe like a year ago, um, but I really love these ones and the Holier Daily Vitamins. I mentioned those, both of those all the time. Um, but yeah, I have three bottles of these. <laughs> love a Daily Vitamin. And then this next one I have been waiting for, for, I want to say like a month now. <laughs> this is from Missouri. I don't know if I've mentioned this on here before, but Missouri is the first um, brand partnership I had ever done. I, let me look at my phone and see when it was actually. I want to say it was like three years ago and it was gifted. I wasn't doing anything paid yet. Um, but I remember just being like, oh my God, my first brand deal. <laughs> I was on the Cape and I had my friend Kirsten take the photos and I remember it was like really hazy that day and I was so annoyed that the photos were like blurry because <laughs> because it was hazy. Wait, I might have literally archived them because I hated the quality of them. <laughs> Let me check my archive, see if it's in there. Oh my God, this stuff in my archive, SOS. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, the editing is like so bad on these. I don't know what I was thinking. My first campaign with them was for the croissant dome earrings. I don't have them on right now. I can go grab them in a second, uh, but I love them and I wear them literally almost every single day. And I have a bunch of pairs of their earrings. I've done a ton of brand deals with them. They're my absolute favorite jewelry brand. I recommend them constantly. Um, and I have a couple necklaces from them, but I do not have any rings. And they sent me the most adorable ring. It's a little bumblebee. And I am obsessed. Let me show you. I hope that's focused. Let me put it on. Who knows if this is focused? <laughs> I don't really know. But if it was, it's so cute, you guys. It's so cute. I adore it. Okay, those are my two packages. Very exciting stuff. Um... I'm gonna go do some laundry right now. Actually, I'll show you, I'll show you the earrings. Someone actually asked me recently to do a little uh, jewelry collection haul on my YouTube. So maybe I'll do a quick overview of my jewelry collection right now. If you wanna see everything else I have from Missouri. I keep them in this little wooden tray. I know this looks like an absolute disaster right now. I really need to organize it. Um, I can't believe I'm showing how messy this is. I'll organize it while I show you it. This necklace I've had since I was like 11. This is from uh, my dad's wedding. One of my dad's weddings. 
subtly throwing shade. This one is from Missouri. It's their herringbone necklace. It's a choker. I adore this. This is also from Missouri. It's the croissant dome bracelet. This is a gold chain that was my grandmother's that I now have. I never wear it because it's super old and the clasp is weird and it comes apart so I'm afraid to wear it and lose it but this is so beautiful. I believe that this is also my grandmother's. I think. I never wear this one either but I love having it just for the sentiment you know. <laughs> These are the croissant dome earrings that I was talking about. I wear these all the time. I need to polish them actually because they're looking a little dingy, but I love these. They're such a good staple. These are from a brand called Perry Foya. I believe that's how you pronounce that. These are less expensive than the Missouri ones, so they do end up tarnishing, but I've had these for a very long time and they haven't, but the rings I have from them did tarnish, but they're cute. They're fun and it's a more affordable option, so I'll link this brand below as well. These ones are really thin hoops, really lightweight, big hoops. These are also from Perifoya. Oh my, is this tangled? This is a chain from Missouri. I really need to untangle it. It came with this um, little pendant on it. It's the Sagittarius constellation, which is my zodiac sign, but I took it off forever ago because I just like the plain chain. <laughs> I'm cracking up and this is my old belly button ring. <laughs> Got my belly button pierced when I was, I think, 16, and then I took it out last October and couldn't get it back in, so, so long. I always forget I have these ones as well. These are also from Missouri. <laughs> They're little beetles. They're scarab beetles. Apparently, this is like a sacred beetle for good luck or something, but I love them. Again, just super dainty and pretty. And then I think these are my last pair from Missouri. These are thick little gold hoops or I guess huggies because they're small hoops but I wear these in my second holes almost every single day. These little studs are from Perifoya. This is a little ring that I want to put in my cartilage piercing. This is from studs but I can never get it in there so I, this has just been sitting in here but I really want it in my cartilage piercing. <laughs> Much better. I just organized this and now it doesn't look so chaotic. I also, let me show you the rings I wear every single day. I never take these off. This was my grandmother's wedding band. I have worn this almost every single day for the last few years. And then this ring with the purple jewel is my mom's and I wear those together every single day. I love them. As you guys can tell, I really like gold. I'm not a silver girl. right as I started filming this clip my washing machine started making a lot of noise so hopefully you can't hear it but I'll make this quick I'm gonna go edit this vlog it's like 9 30 right now I'm gonna spend the next few hours doing that and then I'm gonna go to bed so I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow